As the paper mill churns the pulp, Josh and Adam gnaw the bark from a fallen tree. Kick it! Like an aggressive, overeager face plant into a mound of blueberry cheesecake. I'm Josh. And I'm Adam. Welcome to the Sauce Mac Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Brought to you by a bucket of sprinkles and National Donut Day! That's on June 7th, by the way. Yay! Thank you, Smuth Mealer. Now. Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Design. Adam, we all know how much you love your purple silk jammies. Oh, those ones are my favorite. <laughs> Hey, that is not that is not public information, Joshy. But uh, there is something silk-based in this world that is slightly more incredible even than those. Yeah, the silk pavilion designed by <laughs> MIT's Mediated Matter Group is made from a CNC template in which <laughs> six thousand five hundred silkworms were released mm-hmm. to produce an entire silk cloud structure using natural three D printing. <laughs> Check it out uh, <laughs> next time you stroll by the MIT campus wow. and just try not to get infected or, or infested or whatever. Yeah. The Terra <laughs> 1012 Terrarium is our favorite terrarium of the week. Yes, this line of uber minimal glass cases from Japan are designed to highlight the plants and roots uh, for ah. those who appreciate a little greenery in their lives. Yeah, pick up a uh, precomposed, uh, decomposed, precomposed, pick up a precomposed terrarium. <laughs> Or just a case to create your own at 1012.stores.jp. Applications. Well, it's garage sale season, folks, and we all know what that means. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. People are trying to get rid of tons of the crap, basically. Yep, with Bonzi, you can post all the stuff you're trying to get rid of onto your profile, and only your friends and friends of friends will have access to... Uh, to, to that yeah, stuff. What a joy. In a nutshell, Bonzi allows you to barter with people you know, keeping, you know, stranger danger at bay. It's available on iTunes for free. I worry about stranger danger <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I only trade old blenders <laughs> with friends of friends or better. And now our favorite useless slash unuseless app of the week, (laughs) Drive Awake, is the new app from Cafe Amazon that keeps Mm. you from falling asleep on those interstate road trips. Oh, driving awake. Hmm. By placing your phone on a dashboard mount, the app keeps track of your drowsy eyes and directs you to the nearest Cafe Amazon with the first sign of uh, sleep. (laughs) Also available for free on iTunes. DIY. You need a laser pointer. A new one. <laughs> and with this new instructable from Pinamelion, ah. you can create, yes, you, Smoth, uh, your very own laser printer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> with just a few cheap electronic supplies, a 9-volt battery, you can become your cat or Smoth's new best friend. <laughs> Check it out over at Instructables. Vacuum forming? Hmm? Mm. So much fun. With this DIY project from Vulpin Props, you can create your own vacuum forming station on the cheap, featuring guide rails, a power switch, and its own heating element from a repurposed toaster oven. Get your vacuum form on today and head over to vulpinprops.blogspot.com to get all the instructions. Rock awesomeness. The Domi Copter is something that stole my idea for a pizza delivery drone uh, <laughs> revealed by Domino's Pizza this week. Gah. Oh, they ripped us off. Yeah, this eight blade drone is taking pizza delivery to all new heights. Ha! With the ability to pass <laughs> over traffic jams, stoplights, and uh, bad Apple map directions. Oh my gosh, I'm so bitter about this. <laughs> Publicity stunt or not, check out the video on YouTube <laughs> to watch a delivery in action. Unless you happen to be a pizza delivery guy yourself, in which case you might want to get out there and start vandalizing some robots. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the must guard by Nico Klancic is our favorite rollable, removable bike fender of the week. Yes, weighing in at a measly 35 grams. And with the ability to fit in your pocket, this polypropylene fender will not only protect your backside from all those annoying rain puddles, it is also going to give you mad street cred. And by the way, you want to check out the <laughs> video. It is one of the best produced Kickstarter Very good. I've seen in a long time. Really good stuff. Very good. And it's 25 bucks on Kickstarter. Smoth, what do you think of all this, buddy? Who needs a pizza delivery robot when your lower torso can convert into an eight-rotor missile-carrying drone? (laughs) What? 
My lower torso is much more functional than it looks. Is those it? nubs, really? those nubs on my feet are actually highly sensitive weather sensors. <laughs> what? They can report on the cloud conditions of Saturn's <laughs> inner rings. <laughs> Mr. Adam, what's on CAD Junkie? This week, folks, we are rolling out SolidWorks 101, uh, including the all-new, completely re, uh, re-recorded Ampy Robot Design Series. It's going to change the way you think about assemblies over at CADJunkie.com slash SolidWorks 101. Definitely check that out uh, and get that free membership to watch the whole series. Rock and roll. What's on Engineer vs. Designer this week? We have a live and in-person interview with the CEO and founder of the large-scale 3D printer that can print everything from housing structures to coffee tables, Mr. Enrico Dini. Mm-hmm. Listen in on iTunes or at engineerversdesigner.com. And there you have it, folks. And your cool tool finds this month at solidsmack.com. Sign up for our newsletter there in the sidebar. Or ask us a question in the comments or via email about DIY design, tech, or anything else. Smoth would love to help. Do it! I was once a robot pizza delivery man. I rode on the back of a quadcopter, and it was my job to drop scalding hot pepperonis on enemy pizza delivery boys. It was easy, because most of them were on foot. They didn't pay me jack. I do this kind of thing for the fun of it. They said, hey, Smothmiller, hey, Smothmiller, we got a job for you. All you got to do is drop this hot grease on those boys. And I was like, holy sh**, man. I'll do that for free. A production of EBD Media.